Hey guys, Sir West of Ash here. I'm going to show you how to download graphics packs and to place them correctly into the folder in Simu so that you will have whatever graphics pack you desire to have a higher resolution or a certain fix or you know a visual effects mod in Breath of the Wild or any other Wii U game that is playable on Simu. So first things first, there'll be a link to this website in the description below. It's a GitHub website. Uh, you just go to this link. You can see a list of games that are supported with graphics packs. Uh, as you scroll down on this page, there's a, a different uh, hot links here, like official Simu Discord hot link. I'll post that also in the description of this video. There's a pull request. So if you need help with something, editing something, or if you want like a game to have a graphics pack that it doesn't already have, you can do that. <clears throat> Just go up here and click this button and it will download graphics packs. I already have it downloaded. You can use 7-Zip or Renoir, WinRAR, or anything else you want to use to unzip this. So just go to Extract to and extract it to your desktop. If you extract it somewhere else, just make sure you know where it is. Uh, and then you can open up this folder and you can select the graphics packs you want. And then all you have to do is open the CMU folder. And I'm going to go over here and go to CMU go to my version and then you can see here graphics packs pretty self-explanatory so I'm gonna click on that I already have them installed the ones I want but as you can see depending on your hardware there are different graphics packs like you can register breath of the wild you know I don't know why you would want to do this but you can do it in 5760 P now I have a 980 Ti and when I try to do 4k I can't get 60 FPS. I get like 40 FPS. So just to give you to some perspective, it does affect your performance, what resolution you render it in. And it depends on the game because if you're trying to play something like, uh, you know, Super Mario Maker versus Breath of the Wild, it's not going to be nearly as uh, demanding as Breath of the Wild. Uh, or if you're trying to play Mario Kart, versus Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight you probably play in 4K and have no problems. But select the ones you want. So if you got a lower end GPU and you've got like a maybe a 720p monitor, I would go with one of these first four. Um, if you've got like a mid-range GPU, like a 1060, 1050, something newer like that, you should be fine with one of these. If you've got like a Vega 50, 6, 50, uh, 64, or if you've got like a 970, 1070, 1080, you can definitely do 1440p or 4K on most games. Breath of the Wild might be one of the games, or you're just going to have to test it out and try it. So all you do is drag, select what you want, and drag and drop. It's that simple. And if you ever need to edit something, <clears throat> a lot of these files are very easy files to edit. You just go to the rules.txt down here at the bottom. And here you can see the game rendering resolution. Make sure you read the text and you'll understand what it does. So it renders this game in 720 default. All right. The overwrite width is 14 or not 1440, it's 2160p. So it's essentially 4K. So this is the default resolution. So if you have. Uh, nothing activated, it'll, it'll run it in this this uh, format. If you check the graphics pack, it'll overwrite that resolution to this. Um, now, if you have a gamepad, <clears throat> I don't have a gamepad hooked up. I, I prefer the controller, the Pro controller. So if you have a gamepad, it'll do the same thing. So that's down here. Um, there's some bloom and blur stuff. I don't really mess with that just because I don't, Personally, I don't ever have any issues with Bloom being like over, you know, saturated or whatever the correct technical term is. But that's to give you an idea of how to edit things. So if, you know, I wanted to change 2160 uh, and make it like ultra wide, it depends on the game because some games it, do, it won't work this way because di different games are rendered differently. But if the game's rendered the standard, typical, easy way, if you change this to like 3840 by 1660, or actually 1600, then you can run it on like, you know, uh, uh, it's not 4K anymore, but it's technically an ultra wide. 
I would call it like an ultra wide 2K monitor or something like that, like the 35 inch San, uh, Acer monitor. But yeah, that's that's how you do that. And it's just that simple. So if you guys have any questions, I'll post a bunch of links in the description below and I will be responding to comments so you can leave a comment or like or dislike or whatever. Um, I don't really care if you guys like or dislike my videos. I just wanna be helpful. So if you need help, let me know.